The topic is the three big steps. Okay, the three big steps. Allow me to start by looking at some fundamental statements. These are going to be the foundation, all right, for our discussion starting from today. First, please put at the back of your mind that success is the progressive achievement of worthwhile goals. Success is the progressive achievement, excuse me, of worthwhile goals. Also, success is a moving target. Success is a moving target. When I say success is a moving target, this is what I mean. The breakthroughs of today are the relics of tomorrow. You can't just achieve something and then just rest on your oars. You've got to keep moving forward. You've got to keep making progress. The breakthroughs of today are the relics of tomorrow. What people celebrate today, they will tolerate tomorrow. So you want to keep moving forward. All right. Life in and of itself is a journey. Essentially, life is a journey. What does that mean? It means the joy of life is not found in accomplishments. The joy of life, the fulfillment in life is found in movement. In other words, when you stop moving is when you stop living. Or let me say it in another way. When you stop moving forward in life, you stop living because life is a journey. Fulfillment will elude you the moment you stop moving forward or you stop making progress. Now, this is the good news. It does not matter who's gone ahead of you or who is coming behind you. As long as you are moving forward, you are fine. You see, the essence of life is not in speed, it's in movement. As long as you are moving forward, you are fine. As a matter of fact, I tell people this all the time. You are always in the middle. At every point in time, you are always in the middle. There's always somebody ahead of you. There's somebody coming from behind you. So it doesn't matter who has gone ahead or who is coming behind you. What is most important is that you are moving forward. Please never forget that fulfillment feels the same. Fulfillment feels the same. In other words, when somebody achieves something before you achieve it, it does not matter when your time comes, you feel the same thing they felt when they achieved what you are achieving. And the fact that they achieved it before you does not mean that their own feeling of fulfillment will be sustained until your own achievement. No, 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 no. Life is a moving target. Okay? Life is a moving target, but fulfillment feels the same. So the most important thing is that you keep moving forward, is that you keep making progress. Now, this is the message today. To keep moving forward in life, there are three big steps you have to take. To keep moving forward in life, there are three big steps you have to take. I have decided to label them in such a way that you can easily remember them. All right, so these are the three big steps. Step out, step in, and step up. And I'm going to take time to explain them to you. Step out, step in, and step up. What am I trying to say? At every point in time, you should be taking one of these three big steps. If you're going to keep moving forward in life, at every point in time, you must be taking one of these three big steps. If you are not stepping out, it means you are stepping in. If you are not stepping in, definitely you must be stepping up. Okay? You must be sensitive to whatever season it is that you are in so that you know the right step to take and what that step entails. Allow me to say that again. You must be sensitive to the season of life that you are in so that you know the right step to take and then you've got to also know what that step entails. Now, we are all at different phases. We are all at different seasons of our lives. So some people need to step in while some people need to step up. Some people need to step out. Whatever the season is, you've got to be sensitive to your season so that you can respond correctly. You've got to know what step to take and you've got to understand what that step entails. My objective in this series of teachings is to explain to you and make suggestions on how to step out, how to step in, how to step up. I mean, and even what I mean by these steps. So for the remaining of our time today, the remainder of our time today, sorry, we are going to be focusing on stepping out. Step out.
is our focus today and then next week wednesday we will continue with step in and of course step up so let's talk about step out for the benefit of those who are just joining us this is our message today for you to keep moving forward in life there are three big steps you have to keep taking step out step in and step up today we want to focus on step out so what do i mean by step out to step out is to move from where you have been to where you need to be to step out is to move from where you have been to where you need to be let me describe it in another way so that you understand what i am saying to step out is to move from your comfort zone to what i like to call your stretch zone to move out from your comfort zone to what I, I like to define as what your stretch zone. There is a statement I repeat from time to time. If it is not stretching you, it is not helping anybody. At every point in time, you should have enough tension in your life. Okay, that gap between where you are and where you need to be and the effort you are making to move to the next level. The moment you are comfortable, you are complacent, everything is okay, nice and dandy around you, something is wrong. Somebody said it this way. If you are the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. So you've got to keep moving forward. You have to keep stepping out from time to time. Let me give you examples of what I mean by stepping out. For example, leaving your parents' house after graduation, that's step out. Okay? Getting a job and fending for yourself, that's stepping out. All right, moving from paid employment to entrepreneurship, all right, starting your own business, that's stepping out. Getting married, that's stepping out. Starting a family, okay, having your own kids, that's stepping out. Moving from your current country of residence to another country, that is stepping out. Or what some of us in Nigeria like to call japa, okay, that is stepping out. All right, from time to time, some of us, that is the step that we need to take you've got to step out you've got to step out when you stay too long at a stage or i mean so as a stage in life when you stay too long at a place if care is not taken you start losing relevance you start losing influence you start losing impact you even start losing and i mean enthusiasm and results so you've got to know what season you are in and you've got to step out when the need arises now somebody is wondering when do I need to step out? How do I know that I need to step out? I'm going to give you some instances so that you can look at your own life and you'll be able to say, I need to step out. Let me give you some examples. Number one, when you have exhausted all the possibilities in a role or in a field of endeavor, you need to step out. Okay? When you have exhausted all the possibilities in a role or in a field of endeavor, you need to step out. When your capacity is greater than your current responsibility, you need to step out, okay? When your capacity is greater than your current responsibility, you need to step out. Number three, if your skill set is more suitable for another role or industry, you need to step out. If your skill set is more suitable for another role or industry, you need to step out. Listen to this one. When your dream is bigger than your current reality, it's time to step out. When your dream is bigger than your current reality, it's time to step out. When you become a big fish in a small tank, it is time to step out. But quickly, let me sound a note of warning. There are conditions under which you should not step out. Don't step out because of boredom. Don't step out because of offense. Don't step out because it's the fad. Everybody is stepping out. Everybody is relocating. Everybody is changing jobs. Don't do it, okay? You've got to do the right things at the right time for the right reasons, okay? Don't step out because of challenges. Listen, there is no field without a challenge. There is no job without challenges. There is no field of endeavor without challenges. So you cannot, because there is a challenge on your current job or in your field or in your industry, then you want to step out. That's a wrong reason for stepping out. Now listen to this. There are three major requirements for stepping out. Okay, there are three major requirements for stepping out. In other words, please do not step out until these three requirements are in place. 
The three requirements for stepping out are clarity, strategy, and courage. Okay? The three requirements for stepping out are what? Clarity, strategy, and courage. I've said it before. Please allow me to say it again. If these three requirements are not in place, please do not step out. The first one is clarity. Clarity. You have to be clear before you step out. As a matter of fact, when I say clarity, this is what I mean. You should be able to make every of the following statements I'm about to show you. What does it mean to have clarity? It means you are able to say, I know who I am. I know what I am supposed to do with my life. I see far beyond my current reality. And I know exactly what to do next. Look at these lines. Look at these words again. I would encourage you to take note of them. If these factors are not complete in your life, please, it's not time to step out. I know who I am. I know what I'm supposed to do with my life. And that's, that's purpose, okay? I see far beyond my current reality. That's vision. And I know exactly what to do next. That is what it means to have clarity. What are we talking about? We're talking about stepping out. There are three big steps you must take from time to time. Step out, step in, step up. Our focus today is stepping out. I've explained to you what it means to step out. Now we're looking at three requirements for stepping out and they are clarity, strategy, and courage. For clarity, you've got to know who you are. You've got to know why you exist, what you are supposed to do with your life. You've got to see far beyond your current reality and you've got to know exactly what to do next. That is clarity. If you don't have clarity, don't step out yet. The next one is strategy, okay? Strategy. Just like clarity, there is a statement you should be able to make for you to be able to say, I have a strategy for stepping out. What do I mean by that? Look at this statement. I have a documented plan of action that captures exactly what to do, how to do it, and when to do what, okay? You don't have a strategy if this condition is not in place. A documented plan of action that captures exactly what to do, how to do it, and when to do what. In essence, I am saying if you have a strategy, you have a document, okay, that captures the action you need to take, the process you need to follow, and deadlines. Action, processes, and deadlines. That's what it means to have a strategy. If you are going to step out, you've got to have clarity. You've got to have strategy. The third requirement is courage. To step out, you need courage. I like the definition of courage in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Let's check it out together. Okay, courage. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary says, the mental or moral strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. That's courage. It is the mental or moral strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. Okay, that is courage. Let me say it. In, I mean, let me say it to you in another way. Courage is moving forward in spite of negative emotions or circumstances. Excuse me. Courage is moving forward in spite of negative emotions and or circumstances. In other words, it does not matter what's going on around you. The moment you have clarity, you have strategy, no matter the negative feeling, sometimes it's fear, it's anxiety, courage is moving forward. What am I trying to say? There will never be a time where you will feel 100% like stepping out. You will need to step out with courage, okay? Step out with courage. As I begin to wound down the session today, I want to give you some warnings. The first one is this. Watch out for what I call crap theory. 
Now, what is crap, crap theory? Some people have said, I'm saying some people have said because I've never practiced it before. But they say if you put one crab in a bucket, the crab is likely to escape. But the moment you put two or more crabs in a bucket, when one is trying to come out, the other ones will pull it down. And that's what is called crab theory. What does it mean in real life? It means that people are likely to discourage you from going where they have never been or from doing what they've never done or believe possible for themselves. Okay, or they believe is possible for themselves. In some extreme circumstances, some will even go out of their way to sabotage you. So you've got to be careful. When you are dreaming of a better life, when you want to move to a higher level in life, you've got to learn to share your thoughts okay, with people of like minds. People who have either been where you are trying to go or people who share your values and share your dreams and aspirations. If not, other people may pull you down. So you've got to be careful of crab theory. The other thing I want to warn you about is the issue of timing. The issue of timing. Okay, let me say this to you. There is nothing like the perfect time to do anything. In the words of King Solomon, if you wait for perfect conditions, you will never get anything done. Okay, if you wait for perfect conditions, you will never get anything done. This is what I have discovered. That waiting for the right time can be a camouflage, okay, for fear of the unknown or some other negative emotion of fear. This is my advice. Once the three requirements are in place, step out, okay? Once the three requirements are in place, step out. Look at it like this. Because somebody is wondering, what if I step out too early? So this is what you say to yourself. If I step out too early, then it means I have more time to gain experience. If I step out too early, then it means, okay, I have more time to gain experience. But for some reason, some people may not be able to step out right away. Listen, the moment it dawns on you, my time in this phase or my time in this place is over, you've got to step out. But don't step out until the three requirements are in place. Okay? The three requirements are what? Um, courage, strategy, and, and clarity. Courage, strategy, clarity. Or let me put them in the order that we discuss them so that you know what step to take. Clarity, strategy, courage. Clarity, strategy, courage. Once those three requirements are in place, then step out. There is nothing like, I want to step out at the right time. If you are not careful, fear will keep you on the same spot, okay, for a very, very long time. But the good news also is this. It is never too late to step out. Because there's somebody listening to me, perhaps, who, who knows I need to step out. You've known you needed to step out for a long time, but for whatever reason, you did not step out. It's okay. It is never too late to step out. If you step out too early, tell yourself, I, I have more time to gain experience. So the moment clarity, okay, strategy and courage is in place, please step out. Okay, please step out. As a matter of fact, once you have clarity and strategy, step out. You don't know you have courage until you step out. That's the truth. Courage is not a feeling you feel until you are afraid. All right. So just step out. Do what you have to do. I'm reminded of the story of Anna Mary Moses. Okay, she was popularly known as Grandma Moses. This is an excellent story of somebody who stepped out, not telling herself that it was too late. Let me share some things about Grandma Moses with you as a round of this evening. She had always loved, okay, painting she, since she was a child. But of course, she was raised poor, so she had to start working very, very early. From the age of 12 was when she left home and started working, okay, in different people's farms. She got married at the age of 27, of course, still working with her husband, all right, in farming. She gave birth to 10 children. She lost five of them. She finally stepped out at the age of 75. I'm telling you the story of somebody you can verify. At the end of this session, just Google Grandma Moses. As a matter of fact, I got some information on Wikipedia about her. I'm going to read the information to you, all right, this evening. Listen to this. In 1938, an art collector discovered her paintings at a pharmacy in upstate New York. 
After buying the paintings, the collector took them to an art dealer in New York City. In 1940, the art dealer brought national attention to Grandma Moses by showcasing her art in his Manhattan gallery. Very rapidly, the amazing story of the farm widow turned artist began to spread. The art world was abuzz with talk of Grandma Moses' folk paintings and the popularity of her work soared. She went on to achieve international acclaim. She was featured on the cover of Time and Life magazines. By the time she died at the age of 101, listen, Grandma Moses had produced an astonishing total of 1,600 works of art. 250 of them after she celebrated her 100th birthday. Although she never painted well into her 70s, amazingly, Grandma Moses is now considered one of the finest folk artists in American history. What am I saying to you? It is never too late to step out. This woman could not step out until the age of 75. But between 75 and 100, she did 1,600 beautiful works of art. Okay, she found her purpose, she found her space, she was a person of influence, she was a person of impact, she died fulfilled because she stepped out. So if you are in your 20s, in your 30s listening to me right now, don't miss your opportunity when it's time to step out, step out. All you need is clarity, strategy, and courage. But for those of us who feel, look, I've wasted time, or time has gone, or I didn't do the right thing at the right time, listen, it is never too late to step out, okay? Step out. Just step out. Like we said before now, there are three big steps you've got to take to keep moving forward in life. You've got to step out. You've got to step in. You've got to step up. We have considered step out tonight. Next week, Wednesday, we are going to look at step in. And of course, the week after that, we'll look at stepping up.